All right, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and our next guest is a total Latina powerhouse. She has been paving the way for women, spreading positivity, and shattering outdated fashion and beauty standards. So yes, here to share tips on how to take control of your life is Latina model, certified life coach, and author of the new memoir, The Girl with the Self-Esteem Issues. What was it, Mercado, ma'am? Thank you so much for being here and you tell a very powerful honest raw story in this book of what you went through but it's it's called the girl with the self-esteem issues now are you still a girl with self-esteem issues would you say you know what i think i'm a constant student i'm constantly in growth constantly learning and i think that's just part of life as long as you're on the path of growing and acknowledging your triggers who you are what you feel and validate what you feel. It's okay to feel what you're feeling, but grow from that, not stay in there. That's the most important part, and that's what this book is about. I love that, Rosie. And as TJ said, this is a very personal and powerful story. You go through your extreme lows and then your highs, and among part of your story, uh, which is probably one of the most visual ones that we all see, you went from weighing 400 pounds to less than half of that. Talk about that transformation and what you hope readers take away from it. You know, I just hope that you could see your moments of adversity as a stepping stone to step into your greatness. I think the most difficult part about this was really the healing. It was forgiving myself for my past mistakes, for what I tolerated, accepted in my life, and using that as a stepping stone to transform not only my psychology, but my mind, my body, my soul. And I just hope that they get inspired to tap into their own power, their own greatness, and understand that you are lovable, you are worthy, but it is your responsibility to create and do the work. Now, you talk about, in this book, helping people through some of those dark times and their suffering. And if anybody's wondering why they should listen to you, you sure have some credentials when it comes to dark times and suffering. You talk about it in the book. 19, married, husband leaves you, have a newborn baby, three husbands, three divorces, three kids, years of abuse. So you talk about yeah. all of that. So what advice do you have for people to get through some really, really dark moments? I think the most important learning lesson for me is walking my authentic truth, the power of my story, exposing who I am. It's okay. Failure is not a bad thing in life. It's just a guiding point directing you on what's not working. And for me, I found that walking my authentic truth and sharing this and opening up and exposing those scars that not everybody sees and talking about those moments. Um, it allows me to connect with other human beings. It allows me to be human. And it allows me to grow from that place, to take strength and power and use it to move forward and inspire others. It's okay to go through those things and I'm not ashamed from it. And other people's, about my, other people's story about me doesn't define my potential, my future, or who I am as a woman. Well, what a journey you have been on to get to this point, to get that set up behind you. Let the viewers know, you were very Thank excited you. to show, look at that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> working for so many years and it's so exciting not only as a woman as a mom as someone that's gone through so much to be able to just it's so nice to be vulnerable just open up this is yeah. who I am this is the life that I've lived and I've been able to transform and take those dark moments and manifest it into something powerful something good and I'm excited because my book that's what it's about it's <laughs> leaving that imprint in the world of what I've gone through and the lessons that I've learned through those dark moments and the gratitude that comes with it and not only am I excited to have my book but also being a voice, having a podcast that launches today, the girls' self-esteem issues, La Latina con baja autoestima, and sharing the world the wisdom that other people's lives go through, their moments of adversity that push them forward. So I'm curious. Give me that always girls, podcast always title assuming. one more time. What's that podcast title that again? The girl with self-esteem esteem issues, La Latina con baja autoestima. The yeah, girl what she said. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Rosie. Yes, Rosie. It is a pleasure to see you. I think that authenticity, that joy. Uh, it just comes through right now. So congratulations on everything. We hope to see you again down the road, all right? Thank you so much. And remember, if you are watching, you are powerful, you are love, lovable, and you are worthy of your heart's desires. I'm powerful and I'm grateful for this moment. Thank you so much. Bro, oh, Rock, how, how do we follow that, TJ? I'm not even sure, but what an amazing young woman. I cannot wait to read that book and listen to her podcast. All right, we should mention again, it's available on October 13th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.